welcome you for visiting my channel health fitness 1047 hello you my name is lucy lucy wish you a good day and here is the official news One, Jabril Peppers, five things about the Patriots player who was arrested Jabril Peppers, a safety for the New England Patriots, has made headlines following his recent arrest for assault after an altercation with a woman in Massachusetts. The 29-year-old, who joined the Patriots in 2022 and recently signed a three-year $30 million contract extension, is now facing questions about his future with the team. Peppers was previously drafted by the Cleveland Browns in 2017 and also played for the New York Giants before Steelers vs. Cowboys, who won the Sunday night game. In Week 5 of the NFL, the Sunday night football game featured the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Dallas Cowboys, with the Cowboys winning 20-17. Standout performances included Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott, who had 352 passing yards, two touchdowns, and two interceptions, and Steelers quarterback Justin Fields, who recorded 131 passing yards and two touchdowns. Both teams now have a 3-2 record, with the Steelers tied for first in the AFC North and the Cowboys leading the NFC East. 3. Carlos Alcaraz. Five things about the Spanish tennis player competing against Janik Sinner Carlos Alcaraz, a 21-year-old tennis prodigy from El Palmer, Spain, has gained international acclaim for his remarkable skills on the court. This year, he participated in the 2024 Paris Olympics, playing doubles with Rafael Nadal, and achieved a notable win against Janik Sinner in Beijing. Alcaraz began playing tennis at the age of three, influenced by his family's strong tennis background. Hollywood Life has compiled five facts about him to shed light on his life and career. 4. Who was Pete Rosé? Five things about the late controversial Reds manager Pete Rose. Known for his gambling controversy and impressive batting average with the Cincinnati Reds, was also recognized for his effective team management. Following his death in September 2024, Reds owner Bob Castellini praised Rose's competitive spirit and deep love for baseball, stating that he made every team better and was a true embodiment of the Reds. Castellini expressed the team's sorrow and emphasized the importance of remembering Rose's achievements. Hollywood Life compiled five facts about him, highlighting his career as an MLB player. 5. Who won the Mets vs. Braves doubleheader game today? Final scores The New York Mets and Atlanta Braves faced off in a doubleheader on September 30, 2024. After their games were rescheduled due to Hurricane Helene's impact on Georgia, both teams were tied in the National League East, heightening fan anticipation for the matchups. Ramon Laureano of the Braves celebrated a home run during the first game. Fans can watch the games on SNY's cable channel or stream them online. Six Rays vs. Tigers game today. New time and why it was rescheduled. The Tampa Bay Rays vs. Detroit Tigers game, scheduled for Tuesday, September 24, has been rescheduled to an earlier time. Originally set to start at 1:10 p.m., the game was pushed back to an estimated 2 p.m. due to a short delay. The Tigers announced that the change was made to find the best opportunity to play. 
citing concerns about potential inclement weather. 7. Who won the Bengals game? Final score against the Commanders The Cincinnati Bengals are struggling in the 2024 NFL season. Currently on a losing streak and rank 18th out of 32 teams. They lost their first two games, first to the New England Patriots, 10-16, and then to the Kansas City Chiefs, 25-26. As they head into Week 4, they are set to play an NFC South opponent. In their most recent game on September 23, they faced the Washington Commanders. With quarterback Joe Burrow leading the team with 324 passing yards, running back Chase Brown contributing 62 rushing yards, and wide receiver Jamar Chase adding 118 receiving yards. 8. Brett Favre has Parkinson's disease. Learn about the former NFL players Heedolf Brett Favre announced in September 2024 that he has been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. A revelation that has raised concerns among sports fans. The former NFL star, celebrated for his 20-year career, particularly with the Green Bay Packers, shared this news while addressing the House Ways and Means Committee about temporary assistance for needy families. He also mentioned losing an investment in a company developing a concussion drug. Expressing his commitment to the cause despite his own diagnosis. 9. NFL Power Rankings for Week 3 Updates on the Season Week 3 of the NFL concluded on September 23, 2024. With Monday Night Football, setting the stage for Week 4 starting on September 26, featuring the Dallas Cowboys against the New York Giants. Five teams remain undefeated, the Seattle Seahawks, Kansas City Chiefs, Buffalo Bills, Pittsburgh Steelers, and Minnesota Vikings, all with 3-0 records. In the AFC North, the Pittsburgh Steelers lead with a 3-0 record, ranked 12th overall by ESPN. The Cleveland Browns and Baltimore Ravens are tied for second in the division, both with 1-2 records and ranked 22nd. 10. Who won the Chiefs game last night? Their score against the Falcons in a thrilling Sunday night football matchup, the Kansas City Chiefs narrowly defeated the Atlanta Falcons 22-17, improving their season record to 3-0. Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes acknowledged his struggles during the game but credited the team's defense for making crucial plays. He expressed confidence that the team will improve as the season progresses, despite admitting that they haven't performed well in any of their three games so far. Thank <laughs> you.